y'all. I am so excited today because the Blood Water Belt is headed out of Fort Mill and on its way to Dublin, Ohio. Allison Hooper will be wearing the belt next and we can't wait to see her in it. I'm going to show you just quickly our suggestion for packing and mailing the belt. Very simple. We were trying to keep it as easy for everybody as possible because we don't want this part to be a hassle. The belt will come to you in this cute little bag that my mom helped make. You're going to wear the belt, enjoy it, talk to all your friends about it, and take time to write in the journal. This is the part I'm most excited about is eventually, hopefully, getting to read all of the things that you guys are going to write in here. Anyway, wear the belt, and then when you're finished, um, just fold it in half, and then in half again, and just slide it right back in the little bag. Close it up, nice and neat. And then you're just going to stack it right on top of each other and put it in the Ziploc bag. It will come to you in a Ziploc bag. Please make sure that you ship it back out in the Ziploc bag because my fear is that it's going to get wet and all of our pages of writing will be ruined. Anyway, stick it in the Ziploc bag. Zip it up, but leave a little bit of air in the bag. The lady at the post office told me that um, we couldn't fit a whole lot of bubble wrap around it in this flat rate envelope, but um, if you keep a little bit of air in the bag, it will kind of help protect it just a little bit. So just take the whole thing down in the envelope. Now, you do not have to ship it in this flat rate envelope. You can put it in a bubble mailer if you want, whatever, but this is generally the cheapest way that you're going to be able to send it. It'll be $4.90, and you'll ship it right to the next person on the list. Um, we'll make sure that you have all of that information. But you're just going to stick it right into the mailer. Obviously, you're going to make sure that the address is written on there. Or you can even use this same envelope and just print a address label and stick it over it, whatever. Anyway, you're just going to ship it, stick it right in the envelope. Make sure that the sticky part of the envelope doesn't get the ziplock and tear it up. It's not going to fit flat, but the box was a little bit too small to fit it. And then the next one was going to be more expensive. So anyway, you're just going to stick it in there and stick it shut and it will be all set to go. The key thing is to make sure that when you get the belt that you ship it quickly on to the next person. Um, I know it's going to be tempting to wear it for several days, but it's going to be really important to ship it on to the next person um, so that everybody can get it. Everybody's so excited about it, and we are so excited about it. I cannot wait to see your pictures in the belt. I cannot wait to um, hear your stories, and I really can't wait to see how many lives that we can impact, that God can impact through us wearing a beautiful belt. Anyway, thanks so much for joining the sisterhood. Thank you so much for your generosity, and um, just thank you for being a beautiful, beautiful woman, and we cannot wait, cannot wait to see you in the belt. Hope your day looks great, and you do too.